So what I want to talk to you guys about today is a ridgeline system that you can use that employs absolutely no knots, only hitches that are basically just turns in the line and wraps. We have no prussics on this line. We have no rope tackle loop on this line. There's nothing that puts friction on the rope itself on this line anywhere. Yet you have an absolutely taut ridge line. And you've used a couple toggles and a couple stakes off the ground to make this entire ridge line in less than a couple minutes. Let's talk about this real quick and show you how it's constructed. All right, so this is one end of our tarp connection, but it's also our tensioning device and our tie off for our ridge line. So we have a half hitch here for security that basically keeps this toggle in place over here. So if we take that out, then we just have a toggle that's bitten in right here that we can just roll out, pull it out of the line. And now this is the tail right here of our tensioning device. So you have a half hitch here that basically in the end is your security around the line. And when you're done, you just pull it and it comes undone. And the only thing left on the line is this toggle. And this toggle is actually in a Marlin spike hitch that all you have to do is break the back of and slide the toggle out. And there's no knot in your line whatsoever on this end. And this is the line going from the connection to the tree around to tackle, to tension this rope. And again, we have two toggles here. Only one of them was in the line and it was in the Marlin spike hitch. The other one was what we used to connect our tarp with the loop we had left over from the tensioning from our security half hitch, which you'll see in a minute when we reconstruct it. Okay, this is the end that come off our tree. And again, we just have a toggle in here that's got it connected to that line. Afternoon folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and Pathfinder School. And here's my buddy, Black Hat Bushcraft, Matt Mercer from YouTube. He's also one of the longest instructors standing at the Pathfinder School. He knows the meaning of the word pals. What we're gonna do today is, we're going to show you a rapid deployment ridge line that employs actually no knots, only hitches. And it's very effective, very quick, and you can do it with very little equipment and no pre-tying of things on your line. Stay with us and we'll get started. All right, so we just got a piece of paracord. You can see there's not even a stop knot tied in this line. There's no loop, no bowling, no nothing. We're going to loop around our tree with that line and give ourselves a little bit of excess tail. We're then going to just grab the line and put an overhand loop in the line, just like this. And we're going to pull a bite of that tail through and lock it down. Then we're going to take that same line again, put another overhand turn in the line, which gives us another half hitch, creep it down to give ourselves a loop to use for our shelter. And when we pull on that and draw it down, we now have a sheep shank here. This loop dictates the corner of our shelter. Everything is tight, everything is tied, and we can put all the tension on that we wanna put on it. And when we're done, everything just basically drops out to release our line. So one more time, around the tree, extend our tail, put our hand on the line and turn an overhand loop and pull a bite through and lock it down. Give ourselves a little bit of a loop here, turn another overhand loop in the line, put our bite through it to lock it down on a half hitch. Again, the size of this loop is where the corner of our tarp is going to be. When we pull down tension on this tight, it's gonna stay and it's not gonna go anywhere. We can adjust this loop from this tail while things are loose if we need to, to make it smaller or bigger, just like this. And as soon as we tighten it back up, it's gonna stay right where we put it. If we need it a little bit larger, we can grip it forward just like this. Again, as soon as it's under tension, it's not gonna move. And we've got a new tensioning device we've set up on the other end that Matt's gonna show you right now. All right, so on this end, what we're gonna do is come around the tree so that we can tension. And I'm gonna figure about where I want my tarp to be. And that's where I'm actually going to pull 
a marlin spike hitch. Now what's really important here, when we do a rope tackle, we pull from the tree that we're about to anchor to. But this time we wanna pull the, the line from the tree that we've already anchored to from the opposite side. When we do that, it's gonna cinch down into a marlin spike hitch. If you look at it, we have two lines on one side and one line on the other. So again, I'm wrapping around the tree here and I'm gonna come around this toggle and that's giving me like a T handle that I can pull from and I'm just drawing in my cord as I'm pulling. All right, at that point, I'm just gonna come underneath the bottom of this toggle and then I'm gonna come behind the top. Again, the bottom and behind the top. And now it, from there, we're just going to pull a half hitch in this line and cinch it down nice and tight. That's gonna give me a slip loop that I can adjust to attach my tarp and I can draw that down by pulling this tail here. All right, once we pop that loose, now we just simply have to remove the toggle from the Marlin spike and we have everything out with no friction. We don't have to pull and pop and that saves undue wear on our cordage. All right, so once again, we have our toggle in our line with the Marlin spike hitch. I just sim simply come around my second anchor tree. I wanna make sure again, not two lines, but one line. I'm gonna wrap around the top of that toggle. This becomes our T and we're just gonna pull there. And you can see how the cordage is creating friction against the stick rather than against the other part of the cordage. And now from here, I wrap under and then I go behind. Again, under and behind. And now at that point, I just simply, on top of the line, create the half hitch. You, you wanna cinch that down, and it'll get a nice bite against the toggle, and that's when you have your loop that you can adjust. You can see I have a nice tight ridge line there, okay? Now, if we wanna remove that, once again, we just remove this half hitch. When we pop that, the whole thing comes loose, and we just simply have our toggle lift and the Marlin spike hitch. Okay, so this is something we came up with as an instructor group at the Pathfinder School, and that's kind of the beauty of the school is we kind of bounce things off each other. We were talking today with all the guys about how we could use a ridge line that possibly somebody didn't already have set up into a rapid deployment ridge line and get something up quick and simple. The sheep shank at one end is a very, very quick and simple knot to learn how to tie. It takes literally 5, 10, 15 seconds to set that up. The toggle in here, once you've got that, this being your tackling device, now I'm pulling against that. Once you get the tension you want on there and you come around for your first wrap, it is very, very simple to get this thing now exactly how you want it. And it's that quick to get it tied up and that quick to get it undone. Literally seconds to do this stuff with nothing but one toggle off the ground, no pre-tied knots, no prussic knots on your line or prussic loops on your line and no rope tackle knot that you have to pull back through the cordage to possibly damage the mantle of this paracord. All right, guys, again, I'm Dave Canterbury from Self-Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School out here with my buddy, Matt Mercer from Black Hat Bushcraft on YouTube. I suggest you subscribe to his channel. He also makes videos for the Self-Reliance Outfitters channel, as do I, so I would subscribe to that channel as well. And obviously you're subscribed to mine if you're watching this video. We appreciate your views. We appreciate your support. We thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And we'll be back with another video as soon as we can, guys. Thanks a lot.